Hey everyone, so I'm back cloning a drive uh, with Clonezilla, but this time I can record it a little bit better, so I'm streaming it directly into another machine, which you can probably hear in the background because it's quite loud. So I've just booted it up, and this is the point in which it basically gets you to choose your language and keyboard layout. I don't need to change it, basically, it's fine. And I'm happy to start Clonezilla. I'm doing a device to device copy, so I'm replacing another SSD drive in my computer, so I'm sort of shuffling out the old ones basically. Uh, so I can just clone the existing boot drive onto a, uh, another SSD. So it's device to device copy. Inner mode is fine, and it is a local disk to disk copy. So both drives are attached to the machine. So it'll just now uh, try and figure out what drives are connected. So I can see the two drives there. Um, so the first one I need is to pick the source. So it's my old 128 gig OCZ Vertex uh, 4 drive is the source drive. So this is what I'm copying from. So that's the source. So I'll just load that up. And then the destination, destination. so that's where I want it to go, and it will, of course, wipe all of the data. So I unplugged uh, my Windows drive because I didn't want to get confused because uh, it's the same model. Um, but I now know that this 275 gigabyte Crucial SSD is where I want it to go. I don't need to repair the file system. I've got no reason to believe there's any problems with the file systems on this drive. So I can just skip that. And I'm going to choose what happens when it shuts down, basically. And now it'll just ask me a few times if I'm sure, basically. So it's going to tell me what it's doing. So I'm going to uh, essentially wipe everything um, on that crucial SSD, I am sure. And then just in case I wasn't sure, it's asking me again. Obviously this wipes all the data and it's on not well, very hard to recover anything. Uh, so you, it does check that you, you mean it. I do want it to be bootable. So I'm gonna clone the boot area. takes a moment. So now this will uh, copy all that data. Because these are two SSDs and um, there's not that much data on it, uh, I suspect it's around, yeah you can see there it's 36 gigabytes. It's not actually going to take very long I wouldn't have thought. So we'll just wait for it to, uh, to do it basically. After this, I'll have to expand the, because obviously the, the source drive that's been cloned is 127 gigabytes, and the uh, destination drive is 275, well, formatted. Um, so I will have to expand the partition afterwards to use that additional space. So the device that I'm using to record this is a Blackmagic Intensity Pro 4K, which uh, is streaming directly onto a 512 gigabyte SSD that I use for recording uh, from it. Um, I will have to sync the audio from a separate source that I'm recording the audio from. The Intensity Pro 4K is a nice device, but it is actually a bit of a pain to get it to use, uh, to work reliably. Um, it frequently uh, messes up in various different ways. I get the feeling that that's not uncommon for some Blackmagic hardware. Uh, they're great hardware, but the software is sometimes not so amazing. So it's finished, and now it's just checking 
Seems to be fine. I've managed to mount the uh, new drive. I've had that Grub2 error before, so I'm not particularly worried about that. Just be tweaking the uh, boot drive now. I'll have to fix the uh, the swap the swap thing myself. Actually, there you can see it says it can't find the resume drive. Um, I can tweak that later if I remember. So it's throwing that warning there. The UUID of my swap partitions probably changed after I uh, fiddled about with different um, devices. Hopefully it won't get stuck in a loop here. It's just going to keep going round and round. That uh, seems to be fine. Okay. Uh, so now I can just power off the system. Swap the drives round and hopefully it'll boot up. But actually, what I'm going to do is power it off, swap the drives round, and then boot into a live image to uh, ex extend that root partition basically. So I'll power it off now. So, what I've done now, I've booted into a Debian live USB stick, and I'm just going to expand that root partition. So I just need a terminal. And there's one. I'm not entirely sure if gparted is installed, but let's have a look. It is not. I will have to install it. Um, so to install it, I will just update. No index in the apt repository. I don't need to upgrade anything. That would be a waste of time. So that's installed, so hopefully it should just run. And there it is. Scanning the drives now. So I, it's, uh, it's interesting. It doesn't matter. Uh, so there's my new volume. And here, should be able to ah I need to install FSX prom okay um, so remember let's go to that And I think the other one was dump. Wasn't it? There we go. Right, try again. Here we go. Find the drive. There it is. There it is. Right. Should be able to resize it. So, of course, if this failed for any reason, which is reasonably unlikely, uh, you always have that original disk, which is just there, untouched, that you can then. Um, fall back to and decide what you're going to do basically. So that completed successfully and it's registering as using all the available space. So what I need to do now is shut this down, reboot it, remove the existing 
uh, drive and put this one in its place and then hopefully the computer should just look like it always did. So the system has, um, I've just booted into the uh, boot manager there, so it seems to be fine, the new disk is in place, um, it's detected it as bootable, I won't fully boot it because I want to plug back in monitors and things like that, um, but it seems to be fine, so that's great, and I think I'm all done. Okay, see you next time.